Hi everyone and welcome to another Clean and Simple Tuesday and actually it's almost Wednesday but I'm still awake so it's still Tuesday for me and today I will show you how to make another Clean and Simple card and again I'm using like last week uh, some of the Occasions Mini pre-order goodies and I already sent my images because uh, in order to comply with the policy I'm uh, I'm not gonna show you the actual products just the stamped images and piece of designer serious paper sweet stitches and the melon mamba pom-pom ribbon so um, I have stamped here the images from so sweet and uh, button button so I stamped the buttons image with melon mamba and the different buttons with Tangerine Tango, Daffodil Delight, a Regal Rose, and Wild Wasabi, which coordinates with the Sweet Stitches uh, designer series paper. And then I just lined this up. On, and actually, I apply a little bit of Dada. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I lined the little ruler image on top of it. So I'll have something like this. And then I'll have I have some dimensionals and I have some punches that coordinate with the buttons. So let's get started. And I'm using um, very vanilla cardstock. I'll just first cut the large image. Then this piece here. Okay, then we'll go. That will go here, and then I'll just punch out four buttons. I think that four will fit. I think this is. Let me see which one fits better. Yep, the one inch goes with this one. Then I have three and a quarter inch. And then, not sure if this is, nope. I think this is half inch. Not quite sure because there's no measurement in it. Yeah, it's a half inch, but doesn't fit quite. Right, so I'll just use the three and a quarters again. Here we go, and Daffodil Delight. So we have four buttons here, and you can hear them in any order you would like. So I kind of think that this is a little too large, so I'll just trim it carefully We have that one. Then this one is little as well. Too large. And when you cut close to lines, like for detailed, for I mean smaller images, 
you will need to move the paper because that's how you get a smoother cut than and not moving your scissors. And then I'll do this one as well. So there we have our four buttons. Just move those around. So I think this is good. And then I'll just adhere them using dimensionals. So there we have that part. Next I'll just adhere the piece of uh, designer series paper. Oops, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's get this straight again. And then I'll adhere it in the bottom, line it with the bottom edge. So there we have that part. So next we'll adhere the pom pom ribbon. And you can use glue dots or I like to use felt glue. Which is uh, not stamping up, doesn't carry it, but it glues pretty well. And then I'm looking for my um, crystal FX. I know I sewed them somewhere. Then on the buttons you can for added uh, interest you can add some crystal effects. So for the pom pom ribbon I'll just add some of the glue. sure this flows nicely but I'll add a line of the glue just right above So there we have that one. And then on top I will just sit here. Press the pom pom ribbon. Kind of lining up with the end of this temp ruler. So just don't press too much because um, the ribbon would absorb the and then the glue and then just Trim up the end. So there we have that. And then we can just add this one using dimensionals. And because this is kind of a little puffy, we'll add two layers of dimensionals on top of each other. So we have more raised image.
Here we go. And this side too. And then I'll do one in the middle so we don't have the image sinking in the middle. Just towards the top because we'll have this one towards the bottom so there we have that and then just adhere it like something with this I think this will be good and we can do it a little bit upper so make sure that like if you're not sure that that's the position you want don't press the dimensionals so I'll do something like this. I think this will be much better. So if this is the position you want, then you can feel free to press the dimensionals more so they stick pretty nicely. So here's the card. And then here you can add a sentiment or it's up to you what you want to do. And then I will, I think I'll just leave it like this. And then uh, you can add some crystal effects. If I can find mine. So that's just an option. I can find what I did uh, with my crystal effects, but you can add some so they look more like buttons. So this is the finished card and I hope that you enjoyed this video and see you next week with another clean and simple Tuesday. Bye!